Hello soulmates, welcome to Start with Julie. And thank you to all my subscribers who have just subscribed to my new YouTube channel. I appreciate you all. If you've not subscribed, please, if you see this video, hit the, the subscription button and subscribe to my channel, okay, to support me. Then um, turn on the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video, you'll be able to see the notification. I'll be posting every week from now on. So for today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to cut a straight pencil skirt with a contact boot, okay? So let's dive in straight to the video and thank you for watching. Okay, so the first thing I did was to map out my waist measurement which is nine my the waist measurement is a 36 36 divided by four is nine then i map i come down by nine inches for my waist for my hip line that's my waist to my hip it's uh, nine inches that i used then from waist to knee length I used 23 at this point i measured my customer and it's uh, 23 so please measure measure yours okay then the skate length is 28 like so then i bold the line with marker so that you can see the lines very well then i label my lines the waist the hip the knee and then the skate length which is the hemline okay i use 28 the normal length is 26 plus two inches allowance for um folding the mouth of um of of the hem and then for sewing allowance okay so then the hip measurement i'm using is 48 48 divided by 4 is 12 but i used 11 actually on the front i minus one inch from the original hip measurement okay i'll tell you guys why i did that later then i used i minus two inches for my hip line which is 11 minus two which is nine i used nine on my new line and then on my um, skate length line on the hem line okay so then after that the next thing i would do is to connect the lines together like so i'll connect the line together like so the reason why i used i minus one each on my hip measurements from the front is that the back hip measurement is always fuller than the front okay so at the back we're going to use our complete 12 instead of 11 and at the end of the day they will sit completely fine and then because we are going to contour the boat it's actually going to give us that shape that contoured shape when we do this okay so when we move to the back you'll be able to see what i'm talking about so i connect my lines like so and then i use the part of uh, the curve part of this ruler to smoothen the hip line so that it won't be sh uh, sharp like that so i smoothened it a little bit i normally use a straight line to connect my waist to my hip because the shape it gives me i prefer it to making it curve but you can curve yours if you want okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to map out my dart intake okay on the waistline i went in by four and a half because the person's snip to name is um nine so nine divided by two is four and a half then from the from the hip line i went up by two inches also like so for my dad so making it seven okay you might be wondering why the dad should be up to that i'll explain it to you later it helps to eliminate that budge that um budge that you usually have okay the fold you usually have from your waist to your hip when your dart is long like that it helps then on that on the dart intake i put i am um, coming by um half inches then i went up by half inches by both sides both sides of the dart intake i i went in or out of half half inches okay and that um, is to draw my dart leg like so all right so after that i bold the lines because i used the pencil before so that you guys will be able to see the lines perfectly then after that the next thing i will do is to cut it out before i work on the dart again to enable us eliminate that point so to do that again i'm going to come down by one and a half inches like so connect it with them um, with um a slant line to the waistline side waistline like that and then i fold my dart together as if i'm sewing it okay so as doing this will help you 
um, have a very perfect shape between your waist and your hip line and there will be no no folding at all so after that i connect my my um, that together like this then i cut it out then we move to the back measurement where we have the major work already okay so this is how it will look after you do this okay and this will give you a little basque line when you start then after that we move to the back then um, on my zip i marked two inches for my zip allowance that two inches amount for my zip allowance i divided it into one one inch like so so remember we minus one inch on our hip line before from the from the uh, front drafting that we did so that one inch that we, we we're adding it back on this back measurement that is the one inch that we have there so the first one inch there on that zipper allowance is for zip allowance then the last one is the one inch i'm adding to the hip line okay so that means the hip line will now be completely 12 when i removed my one inch for zip allowance so i am i label my my lines again okay this is actually very important especially when you're giving it to someone to sew so the person will be able to know where and where to start sewing okay so after that what i'm going to do right now is to mark out my um my measurements also so i get my nine inches for my waistline nine plus the one inches for zip allowance that is ten then i mark it like so then coming to the hip line i get my 11 inches starting from the end of the two inches right starting from the end of the two inches i marked out before i put my 11 inches then plus the other first one inch there that will make it 12 right so we have our 12 complete then you see another one each at the back that is the zipper allowance on the hip line this is the way we'll be able to contour the the, the um the hip area the boot area like this okay so from there i come down i used nine inches again for my um, new line and then um, also for my uh, hemline like so okay then after that the next thing to do is to connect the lines together like so just like the way we connected the front uh, the front line okay the front pattern sorry so this is it I'm, i use my marker to make the line straight and then um, the first place i am putting right now is the zip the, the, you see the first line there that's why i'm labeling it on the upper part which is the waist part that first line is the zip allowance on the hip line the last line is the zipper allowance okay so what i'm going to do now to contour this particular material then the next thing i will do is to um put in connect my hip line okay sorry my waistline using a straight line i connect from that zipper allowance on my waist okay i connect it down to um i mark it to draw something like a dart like a dart leg connect it down to the line on the hip line like so okay so it will form something like a dart like so okay so then after that the next thing i will do is to measure another nine inches starting from my hip line down to the new line i measure another nine inches where i will connect this line that is like a, my dart line right now where i will connect it down to 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 before my new line so to form that contoured uh, shape okay on the hip and on the butt okay it's just it's very easy once you get this and you finish sewing it you the result will be will be so amazing okay you you will love your skate like you never loved it before right so after that this is what we have and then we are going to we are going to cut it all the only thing the next thing i need to do is to curve make sure that the 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 that blend well like so okay so that has blended well then uh, the next thing i will see okay let me check out if my measurement is still complete yes and it's still complete we have 12 inches we have 13 inches including the 
is hip allowance on the hip area okay then on the waist area we have 10 inches when i move this to my fabric i will add my sewing allowance you notice i didn't add any sewing allowance here all right so i'll add my my um, allowance the that allowance is already added guys sorry even on the this because um the waist is actually eight so plus one each that allowance that's why you had we have nine all right so but that, but when i move to my fabric i will add another allowance maybe one each allowance for sewing okay so from there i create my dart i put in my dart um, leg down i mark four four and a half that's 4.5 and then i come up by two inches from the hip line just like we did at the first um on the front pattern and then i mark it like this and then i connect it together like so okay so i'll connect it together and then i will now draft my dart leg okay i'll go in um or from the dart from the dart intake like which is the four and a half i'll go in by half inch and then come out by half inch okay in both areas and then i will connect the lines like so I connect the lines like so then um, after that I cut off and then our back is ready to move to the fabric and to move to saying thank you for watching and don't forget to drop a comment see you on the next video